Hello there, so today I'm going to show you something really special. Uh, recently I saw a guide on Steam uh, dated back to 2020 made by ESP Aeon. Uh, you can find it in the Wheelchair Online uh, Community Hub under the Guides tab. So uh, in this guide uh, this user uh, shows us how we can change the translation uh, no, actually add a t Spanish translation to the game. So, uh, he didn't provide a guide on how to add such translation or uh, how to alter the game files. So I tried to find out how you can make such translations. And uh, in this video you will learn how you can make translation for any language you like, be it French, Italian, uh, Polish for example, you name it. So, uh, let's start. So before I show you what you have to do, uh, I will need just to make two mentions. Uh, the first one, uh, you will need to watch my video about unpacking the game files after uh, the Will to Live Online update to the engine 4.26. Uh, and the second one is that uh, everything I will show you in this video is actually against uh, the terms of service. So. If you translate a, a game on your own or you use uh, a translation, a third party translation, not the official one, uh, and you expose it like via screenshots, videos, and uh, we can identify your account uh, by those videos and screenshots, you will get banned. Or you risk to get banned. So if you make a custom translation, proceed with caution, don't share stuff or hide your uh, game ID, hide your in-game interactions, etc. Uh, you've been warned. So, uh, as you know, uh, to unpack uh, the game files, you need to go to the Wheelchair Online directory in the folder WTL Content Packs. Uh, now, uh, the question uh, we need to answer is which one of those pack files actually contains the needed files for the translation. So, among all of those pack files you see right now, uh, the only one you really need is the main pack. So, it weighs two and a half gigabytes. Uh, you have to. No, I don't need a Java update. So, you have to uh, unpack it. I already have it unpacked on my uh, desktop. So, that's a huge folder, but you only need uh, really small files from here. So, uh, once you open it, go to WTL content localization game uh, here you will see that we have all the four languages for the world to live online uh, that are present in the game uh, and are uh, officially so to say translated by the developers via Google Translate so uh, here you have the German version, the, in the English one, the Russian and the Chinese uh, game lock meter is the meter file we will need to keep it, uh, but I will show it later to you. Uh, for now, uh, everything you need to take is the English version of the game translation, since it's the most convenient uh, to base your potential translation on. But if you know the Russian language, language by any chance, it's better to use, to base it on the Russian translation, since it's the it's native translation its native language of the game, but uh, if you don't know, the English is the most convenient one for you, obviously. So, in the English folder you will find the game.logres uh, extension file. So, you have to copy this file, you copy it and you paste it wherever you want. Now, uh, this file cannot be opened with the notepad. So if I try to open it with the notepad, you will see what happens. It actually opens it as many files, but you, you cannot read it. So you need to actually unpack it. So that is, that's a double unpacking. So how do we do uh, to unpack Locres files? So in order to unpack Locres files, you will need a tool called Unreal Locres made by Kintus, which is available on GitHub. Uh, I will leave the link to this page uh, in the description. So this tool allows us to export uh, the Locris file into the CSV table, uh, the spreadsheet, and to import it back into the form of the Locris file. You also have an option to merge the Locris files, but we will, we will not need it. 
Uh, also bear in mind this is a command line tool so we will need to use the command line to uh, execute uh, the process of exporting and importing. So now when I have my uh, Locris tool uh, downloaded and I also have my uh, game Locris English translation in the same folder uh, it's time to launch Unreal Locris. But as you know we cannot just launch it we need the command line. So I will go and uh, launch the command line uh, as an administrator and here uh, first what we will need to do is to open the command line into this folder so uh, just to make it quick you just go to the properties of your file copy the uh, the path to this folder and you type the command called cd and then you passed uh, the path to this folder. So now as you can see it changed and we are now executing the files from this folder. So I don't know uh, the process of uh, exporting and importing by heart so I will open the uh, github page on the background so you will see how I proceed in exporting and importing uh, those files. So as you can see I opened the uh, part of the guide on the github page. I also have my console here. So uh, I already have the folder with the Unreal Locris executable inside and the game Locris inside at the same time. So uh, what I want to do right now is I'm going to type the same thing I see on the screen. So Unreal Loc uh, Locris.executable the command is export. Uh, you need to uh, specify the path of the Locris file uh, which you will want to convert to the CSV. So I already have uh, copied uh, the path to the folder. It's uh, users tab desktop will. I will add the name of the file. It's game.locres. Now I want to open the square brackets uh, put dash f uh, the braces uh, CSV close braces and then close the uh, square brackets. Uh, normally it's enough you don't really need to uh, specify the output because by default the output will be just in the same folder. So I started and as you can see we have transformed it to the game CSV. Now let's check the folder. As you can see we have the game CSV which by default uh, on my machine opens with the uh, notepad++ but this is actually a mistake and I will tell you why. So now to show you better I have the same game CSV files on my main machine. Uh, so look what happens when I try to open it with the notepad with the standard notepad or with the notepad++ it doesn't make any difference actually. So here you find all the uh, text from the game but the problem is this is not just your regular text file this is the CSV file so as you can see on the top it's supposed to be separated on the three columns the key the source and the target but here we can see it's just uh, a complete line and we don't know where it ends uh, or where it starts the CSV file is best opened either with the uh, Microsoft Excel, uh, Apache, uh, OpenOffice or LibreOffice calc and also with the Google Spreadsheets. Uh, Google Spreadsheets is actually uh, better in the way that you can share it with uh, others if you're working together on the translation. But now I'm going to show you just uh, on in the LibreOffice how it looks and what it actually looks like. So. Uh, when it pops up first, uh, one thing you notice is that at least in LibreOffice it opens, it really opens weirdly. So you have the column A which is really huge, you have the column B which is not visible and you have the column C which is kind of visible. What you want to do first is of course make the B visible so it will be obvious why you need to open it in the uh, in the open or LibreOffice or in the 
Excel or in the Google Spreadsheets. This is because you actually need the third column which is called target. Now you see the text from the second column is actually going to the third so I'm going to just select the second column and uh, select to uh, put the text underneath instead of going to the side. Now uh, you've kind of filtered text. Now everything you have to do is just uh, look at the source and modify the target. That's it. So this is a lot of text to translate actually. Uh, this goes really really down to uh, some 1400, yeah like 14,000 sorry, yeah 14,000, 50, 74 lines of translation. Uh, I mean it's kind of doable but it really would help if you would be uh, numerous to make a translation if you're really serious about this. So once you uh, uh, modify this text, you save it and you uh, get back to the Unreal Locker's tool. So now I am back at my virtual machine. So here you can see uh, the uh, CSV file I have modified using uh, LibreOffice. So I changed a couple of uh, lines of text uh, in the menu so it would be obvious that uh, my translation worked without even entering any server. So what I'm going to do now uh, is I'm going to delete the CSV file uh, which was not edited and but just exported uh, from this game block rest file. So this one I delete. You will just have to modify it on place. Uh, this is only because I use uh, two machines uh, to make this video. So I copy the game file here. So it's edited with the uh, Google Docs or LibreOffice or whatever. Uh, now I need to uh, pack it back so we will need to use the import function of the uh, of this uh, tool uh, Unreal Locras. So I open the guide once again but I don't load to the import section. Uh, bear in mind that you will need the initial initial game Locras file so do not delete it. It's not like it's going to take the CSV file and and create a new Locras file from it. No, it actually needs both. So uh, here I'll just use once again Unreal Locras dot executable but I will type this time import. Uh, I will specify the path to my Locras uh, file so I passed it. Uh, I cannot pass it? Oh, how come? Uh, hold on a second, I will just copy the path once again. Uh, instead of typing it every time. So I copied it uh, and I opened the command prompt and the uh, browser with the instructions. So this is the path and uh, the Locras file is called still game dot uh, Now the next step is to uh, show the translation file path. So the translation file path is the same, it's will uh, slash uh, game.csv. Now we specify uh, with the square brackets dash f that it's a CSV file. We close the square brackets and uh, by default it will just uh, create uh, a new file. It will be just a game.locras.new uh, in the same folder. So you don't have to really type that part with O uh, output path. So I press and as you can see it says translated for from uh, the the all amount of the lines. So uh, I like I really modified only four lines and that's enough to show the positive effect. So now you can close the console and and the browser too. Now in this uh, will folder you will see the new uh, game Locras file. This is the file we actually need for our uh, will to live file and I will show you how to put it there.
So here I have my game locker's new file, which I rename later. Uh, we also uh, need lock, uh, game uh, that lock meta file, which I mentioned in the start of the video. So you go to the unpacked uh, main pack, you go to WTL content uh, localization game once again, and you take this file too because we will need it. So I will just copy it and paste here. So these are two files you will need for the translation and that's all. So back at my, my main machine as you can see I have the game lockres new and I have game lockmeta uh, file. So now I will go to the WTL online directory. So it's not the unpacked game it's just a normal game uh, I normally launch from Steam or from my games. So you go to the directory where your game is installed. Okay, not so it's not in the uh, app data, local, all that stuff. It's really the folder of the game where it is installed. So in, in my case, it's my games. Will to live online, and here you wanna find the folder WTL once again. Here content, and here normally you will have only mo uh, those five files: movies, packs, splash, and swearing words, blacklist, and whitelist. You will not have the folder localization. You have to create it manually. So you create it manually and open it. Inside this folder you make a folder called game. Also manually. In this folder you create a folder uh, uh, with the two letters of your language. In my case I just, put, I just put French for fun. But you could put pretty much anything there since it will not be displayed in the game. Before going to the fr uh, folder, put the uh, lock meter file here, so it belongs here, okay? And then when you open the uh, translation folder, you put the lock rest file here. Now bear in mind because it it has added the new uh, prefix or suffix, yeah, should I say? Uh, at the end, Windows considers it's a new file. Uh, the extension of the file, so you have to rename it to Lockres. So I delete new. It says, "Would you like to change it to Lockres?" Yeah, I I just accept it. So with only those two files, you will see that the game will pick up the uh, translation, which I will show you just in a second. So here we are at the menu, and as you can see, you can see any changes. This is because by default your game in your settings is set to some language uh, which was translated by the devs. So you have to go to the settings and under the game tab find the line language and see if anything new has appeared. So now as you can see we have the English, the German, the Russian and the Chinese but we also have a blank spot. So the blank spot is really the new language we just added. So let's choose it, hit apply and see what has changed. So as you can see the early access message which I modified in the CSV file is has actually changed. So uh, with this method you can modify not only uh, the, the buttons in the menu or the settings or th these messages you can really modify all the dialogues or the uh, weapon, armor, item description just pretty much everything you want and you can also translate it to your language. So uh, that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed this video and it was helpful to you. Uh, if you have any problems uh, just hit me up in comments. Thanks for watching. See ya!